as you know, uh, I'm very interested in anything pertaining to or relating of the veterinary field of work. But how would I get there? So the first thing I would have to look at would be colleges I would want to attend. Now the two main colleges I was looking at were UK and WKU. UK, one, uh, one pro above WKU would be it would be possible to commute to my classes every day whereas at WKU it is way way too far away about two hours and ten minutes uh, for me to commute there every day. I would have to stay on campus and pay for my dorm prices. Also at uh, WKU one pro over UK is WKU doesn't need quite as high of an ACT score is around 25, while UK is happy with you being around 27 or 28. Uh, obviously, there is a wide spectrum of ACT scores that have gone into each school, but these are just the averages of students that have readily got accepted. Uh, also, the people who I, I know a good amount of people who have gone to WKU and they said that they have had a pretty enjoyable experience where the professors don't mind uh, helping their students out if they have any struggles at all to a reasonable extent. Uh, UK, I don't know if their professors are as willing, but uh, from what I've heard about the UK staff, or WKU staff, uh, they're very willing to go above and beyond. Also, WKU is a bit cheaper just to go to school there. Uh, obviously, having to pay for dorm rooms in UK or WKU and being able to go commute to my classes at UK uh, would even that out really well. Uh, but seeing that after paying for dorms uh, or commuting and paying for the classes at each one, WKU staying on campus for uh, more money to stay on the campus and less money to actually go to college seems more desirable because I, I do think I would enjoy uh, the on-campus life pretty well. Uh, also, scholarships at WKU are uh, easier in what I've researched to come by than UK. Uh, that that's for a number of reasons. Uh, WKU is not quite as big as UK. UK and WKU are both very big schools, but with smaller students, uh, there's going to be slightly less competition and uh, scholarships and things pertaining of. So. At each college, uh, there is a couple things that I could do to go into fields similar to each other. Those three fields that I'm thinking uh, pretty heavily about is going to be in pre-vet school, vet tech school, or aquaculture. So obviously if you're going to pre-vet school, you're later going to go on to be a vet. And one downside of this to uh, vet tech, which is uh, pretty simple. Well, they work in the same workplace, but a vet tech does have a different job, per se, than a vet. Uh, going to pre-vet school and then going on to vet school should take anywhere from seven to eight years to fully complete, whereas a vet tech, uh, depending on if you're a vet technician or a vet uh, technologist, uh, is anywhere around two years to four years. Uh, also, aquaculture, I feel like I would enjoy, but uh, it's very, very specialized and you wouldn't have to ch the chance to deal with anybody like this guy on my shoulder. Aqu aquaculture is testing water samples and researching to make sure fish are healthy, but that sounds like after years and years of doing that, it, it might get kind of tedious to be 15 years in the testing water samples. I'm sure 
there's many other exciting things to go along with aquaculture, but it's just it's so specialized that uh, I don't feel like I would enjoy it quite as much. But uh, also, uh, one difference between pre-vet and vet tech is uh, pre-vet and vet is I don't know how else to describe this, but you get a lot more down and dirty. Uh, you deal a lot more with bigger animals and uh, exams that can be looked at as undesirable pertaining to larger animals. Uh, which is probably what I would I would look very heavily at larger animals because uh, they are in higher demand than small animals. Uh, but that that wouldn't really I wouldn't really mind that much at all. Uh, we already, you know, got deer carcasses that we shoot and all that. We already, you know, everything pertaining to that and anything else that you could do with an animal shouldn't be disturbing if that isn't disturbing, which it isn't. It's just, you know, the way God made the animal and their natural uh, body makeup. But, uh, also, since I am the most interested in pre-vet, actually, uh, and going on to be an actual veterinarian for larger or smaller animals, I would have to transfer out of state to a, uh, actual vet school, since Kentucky doesn't have any actual vet schools in the state. And the two I was looking at was uh, Auburn in Alabama and Lincoln Memorial in Tennessee. Uh, obviously, I would rather go to Lincoln Memorial because it is uh, much, much closer than Auburn. Auburn, if I wanted to go home, I would have to get a plane ticket. Whereas at uh, Lincoln Memorial, I could just hop in my car, drive for, you know, three and a half hours and be home. Uh, obviously this isn't a huge uh, necessity because I wouldn't mind being all the way in Alabama but uh, just it, it would be a little bit more comfortable being closer to home. Uh, also one reason that Auburn and Lincoln Memorial are so attractive to me is uh, they have deals with uh, in-state uh, colleges in the state of Kentucky that uh, a certain amount of students each year can attend their colleges for in-state tuitions uh, even if they do come from you know any of the colleges they have agreements with in Kentucky but all things considered uh, and the pros and cons of each thing I would I'm probably going to attend uh, WKU, get my <clears throat> pre-veterinary degree with a master's of uh, animal biology, and then transfer to uh, either Auburn or Lincoln Memorial. That's, as I said, a fair ways down the road considering how long it takes to become a full, full-fledged vet. And, uh, yeah feel like I would enjoy the field and I would enjoy working and have a great time. <laughs>